Okay, so in this video we're going to show you the last part of the recall. Now, this is a really important bit because we're going to let our dog off. We're going to let him off the lead, we're going to let him have an explore of the environment and then we want him to come back to us. So actually what we're doing is we're fighting against the environment even more. So again, remember, you need your high value treats. You need to let the dog know what you've got. So I'm just going to spend a moment just showing Leo what I've got. Good boy. Sit. Good, good lad. So he understands that when he comes back, I've got something really tasty in my pocket for him. Good boy. What we're also going to do is we're going to release him. So I'm going to unclip the lead and I'm still going to ask him to stay where he is. And I'm going to give him the OK command, which means that he can then go off and do what he wants to do. Good boy. So I basically keep control of every part of the um, command and the, the behaviour that I want to see. Good boy. Good boy. Yes, the job. So I'm just going to tell him to stay. Stay. Good. Good boy. I'm going to reward him for that. Good boy. And now I'm going to release him. Okay. So I release him and encourage him to move. So he can go and have a sniff of his environment now. He can go and do what he wants. He can go and be a dog. He doesn't need to stay with me. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for a wander around the field. The recall should be where I call his name, so I go, Leo, come, and he comes running back to me. But what I need to do is I need to make it as realistic as possible. So I need to go for a wander, I need to get him encouraged to sniffing and maybe going to the toilet, those types of things. But also what we're going to show you is that the whistle can also be a very useful tool with recall. So if it's a little bit too windy or you've maybe lost your voice, you've maybe got a cold or something like that, you've got some other way of being able to call your dog. Good boy, Leo, come. Good. So what I'm doing is I'm, I've rewarded him with a treat. Good boy to come. But I'm also using the command as well to reward him. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to release him the same way as I did in the previous videos with the other dogs. Okay. So he knows now that he can go off and go and do what he wants to do. And that's really important. The next time that Leo comes in, I'm going to make sure that I touch his collar. Because if you remember, the one thing that dogs associate with going home and end of fun is collar touching. So we always have to make sure that actually when the dog comes in every now and again at this stage that we, we make sure that we touch their collar. Okay. Welcome. Good boy. Good. Okay, so I'm going to touch his collar. Good. Good boy. And I'm going to release him. Okay. If you follow the previous two videos, you set yourself and your dog up to succeed, there's absolutely no reason why you can't achieve the same level of recall as what we've done today. Now in the next video, we're going to show you a bit more of an advanced exercise, but that will be something that you do later on down the line and when you've got a lot of um, recall under your belt with your dog at this stage. Go out there, have some fun and enjoy training your dog.